All right, I appreciate the comments that I got on my last video. I learned something from the comments. Cool. And that happens quite a bit when people leave a lot of comments on a video. Provided it's not just people telling me I'm a pile of shit for stating my views. So, yeah, people are saying that a lot of those who want to immigrate to the United States have family or relatives or friends that are in particular places in the U.S., and if Trump moves them to totally different areas, that doesn't allow them to integrate the way that they had hoped. That's a fair argument. Now, some people were saying, well, there's barely anyone calling for open borders. I don't know anyone who calls for open borders. Well, you obviously have never been to a lot of the rallies and protests that have been going on for the past couple years. I've seen it plenty. I even saw it and it got some of it recorded when I went to the the rally that was in Eureka. Uh, what is What was it called? All Families Together or something like that? I saw a bunch of it there, a number of signs saying open borders and people coming up on stage and making arguments for open borders. And, you know, and, uh, but as far as major politicians that have a lot of weight in their words, yeah, there's, there's very few. Now, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez didn't directly say it, but she did say the following. She said, it is a right we are standing on native land, and Latino people are descendants of native people. We cannot be told and criminalized simply for our identity or our status. That's essentially saying that Latino people have a right to be here. Now, I think that's a stretch, but there is a kind of an example of the open borders mentality kind of being said, not directly, but... Anyway, but again, for those of you saying, hey, there's barely anyone calling for that, you're right. You're right. But for those that are, my question still stands, and then again, I got an answer already, because the people that are trying to immigrate to certain areas want to go there because they have connections. So, that's fair. Another argument was that some of the people, when they get tossed into some other area than they wanted, it makes it harder for, let's say, if the families were already separated um, when they, you know, got to the border. Let's say that the parents put their kids over the border first. Um, it's going to be a lot harder to reunite the families. That's a fair argument as well. So again, I appreciate the comments. My video was just asking a question, and I got a lot of answers. Thanks.